Hey everybody, this week I want to share my dose of wonder from within my apartment. It's a COVID version, the chronically ill version when you can't leave the house and um, something that I've been waiting for all year. It's the return of Baltimore Orioles, the bright orange bird. They are just so uplifting and delightful and that burst of color is something else. You can attract this bird by putting out orange halves. Just take an orange, cut it in half, put it out, and you are pretty sure to attract these birds if they're in your area. So I have created my own little contraption. It's a microwave cover, a clear plastic thing. Put the oranges in there so that the squirrel doesn't eat them. <laughs> and uh, I sit and wait and watch. The birds didn't cooperate with my filming uh, attempts. I tried filming for several days in a row and what you see is the best I was able to capture. They poke their bill into the orange and then open their beak. And I just wanted to show you the inside of some of these oranges that they have uh, ha begun eating. Look at how neatly they uh, eat through. They leave all the little, uh, you know, these separations here. When they finish one, it's like clean. It's, it's, they, they remove all of the perfect juicy parts and leave it like perfect. I don't know. It's so impressive. It's uh, nature's art. Oreo gets the name from the Latin Oreolus, which means golden. I think that that is the perfect name. It is, this bird is such a burst of sunshine. It comes with the sun, the coming of spring and summer, and just its color alone lifts me up. The reason they're called Baltimore Orioles is not because it's related to Baltimore, Maryland, the state of Maryland in the US. Instead, it gets its name from the England Baltimore family, whose crest was orange and black, and who also gave their name to Maryland's state, hence Baltimore, Maryland. So while I was trying to film the Orioles, another kind of visitor came by. Although I didn't notice this during filming, I noticed it while I was editing. Little squirrel taking the squirrel highway. Now you see him, now you don't. I also had a sparrow visitor who was unimpressed with the oranges because they were not seeds. But the most ingenious visitor was this pigeon who somehow figured out how to perch on this little stick and eat out of the suet feeder that it's not supposed to be able to eat out of. I think this bird wins bonus points for most creative way to actually achieve outcome desired. In that cage-like feeder, I have two blocks of safflower seeds, these white seeds that cardinals love. So if you ever wanna attract cardinals, be sure to put out safflower seeds. Mrs. Cardinal and Mr. Cardinal visit every single day and they're a delight. Okay, that was this week's Dose of Wonder. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. I'm not sure about Lucy, but I do. When am I going to grow up? Let me, let me think about it. I think it's too late. <laughs> Wait. We'll be 45 at the end of this year. Ain't grown up by 45, I think. It's too late. What do you think, Susie? And we'll see. The boss. I don't know if you heard that. That's the Oreo. Oh, hi, Mr. Oreo. Why didn't you show up yesterday when I had set up the camera? 
to to film you specifically. Want to give me a little tea doo doo doo? Oh no. Okay. They're my oranges, and don't you any other Oriole think of coming to eat? Well, I'm at the oranges. That's what you're saying. Like I was saying. Uh, you know. The um. Uh, See your your roots are showing. Some are mine. <laughs> How'd you match that? Eh? How'd you do that? Uh yeah. So that's it. It's the most orangey orange. Cute little oranges. Uh Oriole uh or not Oriole inspired art, but Oriole created. Made by Orioles. <laughs>